action. Hello friends, welcome to this edition of the Head Notes. I'm so happy that we made it through the 2020-2021 school year. What a year we had. We were all focused on having in-person classes and we managed to do it from beginning to end without a single student getting COVID-19. That's quite a feat, especially when we had schools around us closing or some of them just going for hybrid uh, mechanisms of learning. So we do not take the fact that we had classes uh, all year in person for granted. We really are grateful for the students, for the teachers, for you who made it possible for us to be open and for us to thrive in a year when there were so many globally who did not have such a chance. So that is number one for this head nod. So thank you, thank you everyone. Second thing, we said goodbye to our seniors two weekends ago. It was a teary goodbye to our class of 2021, which had a few four-year seniors. We're happy to see them graduate and move on to the next phase of their lives. And then we said another teary goodbye to Karen, our three-year art teacher. We are going to miss Karen. She was more than an art teacher. She was a mentor to students and faculty alike really someone with great humor and also who stepped up to do many things throughout her time through her time here and i'm so grateful for karen and i know why she had to leave uh, we had a good conversation when she informed me that uh, she wouldn't be coming back for the next academic year of course anytime she can come back to be a, an artist in residence or run a small workshop for us over a weekend we really do love karen and now the campus is quiet and beautiful as ever. We are working on the grounds here. We are working on plans for reopening next year and also taking some much needed rest. Uh, Leonard is already off and uh, a few other people have left, but of course you know that there are few of us who stay on campus to do some things, administrative things, review handbooks, uh, keep, you know, pick up phones, read the mail and all that. But even I am also going to take some time off. I'm looking forward to it. And Phineas is going to take time off. I can't believe that. That's a first in a long time. Because those of you who know Phineas, he just, I think he's allergic to vacations and holidays. Uh, but I mean, it's a different year. And so next year, we are hoping for some more students. Uh, this year, in the three years I've been here, this is the year we've, uh, you know, seen so many applications. We've had interviews, you know, on a daily almost, and it's just more volume than previous years. And we've also managed to sieve out some students that really are not a good fit for the school. Some who don't want to come here and they tell us that, and that's fine. If your parents forcing you to show up to Olney, you're not going to make it a good experience for you or others. But what I've seen, the vast majority of those applying are good fit, they are good for us, and they will make the school stronger, and will hopefully also make them stronger as well. For now, I'll leave you with those points and just wish you a wonderful summer, and hopefully you can all come back and visit next commencement, May 28th, we are going to have an Uber reunion of all the classes that have not had uh, in-person reunions for the past two years. We look forward to seeing you. We'll welcome you with open arms. And students who are out there, please rest up and we'll see you in the fall. Thank you very much. We need a second take.